previously. We will never leave this room. Oh, how lovely. And so we go. Hello, friends. My name is Little Knight, and welcome back to Corpse Party. Uh, there was actually an extra after we finished uh, chapter one. It gave me the option for an extra bit of the chapter, so we're actually going to play that right now. Oh! Ah, son of a fucking goddamn son of a... My name is Nana Osagaro Ogasawara, the seventh grader Mush Musa Shigawa Girls Middle School. Where the fuck did my fort go? Did it go all the way back there? Holy shit, it went all the way back there. Let me grab that real quick. Sorry. Like it never happened. All right. Nana. And I can't help but to wonder, why did this happen to us? I was just playing around with some drama club friends and some high school kids after class. When suddenly everything went white and we found ourselves trapped here. And by we, I mean me, my friend Chihaya Yamase from homeroom and an old friend from another class, Nari Amatoya, whom I've known practically forever. Those two were the only ones in the room with me when I came to. I'm not sure what happened to the others. I rep from another class, Hikari Kirigami, and two high schoolers named Narus and Kazane were with us before. Narus and Kazane were with us before, but are nowhere to be found now. So, Shiheya, Shihaya, Nari, and I have been wandering around these halls aimlessly for quite some time in search for them. Nana. Shihari was the first to brave using the bathroom and even went in alone, but came running out on a moment later, claiming to have heard a scary voice. During her flight, it seems she dropped the pouch she always carried with her and agreed to go in and find it in her place. Mirror is so cloudy, can't really make anything out. Mirror is perfectly clear, but you're only your own pallid face stares back at you. Mirror is so cloudy, can't really make anything out. For goodness sake, Chihaya, this is clearly the boys' room. Strong stench hangs over the urinal. <clears throat> Strong stench hangs over the urinal. Ah. Shut the goddamn door! Eek! Who the heck was that? That was definitely a voice. Aha! Found it! No cat. There's a pink plastic pouch on the ground. Pick it up. Well, yeah, that's why I'm in here, isn't it? Inquired Chihaya's pouch. No. No, cat. Sit down, cat. Okay. I got the pouch. Mm. Nana. Chihaya, I found it. Here. Handed over Chihaya's pouch. Yay, thank you. You know, though, when you drop something, shouldn't you be the one to go look for it? No, cat. I love you, cat. Sorry. Mm, Chihaya. I'm... The three of us begin wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school once again. Ow. Naruse, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends, we called their names over and over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. <clears throat> we knew that eventually these voices would give out altogether and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite the inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long as we lived. Wrong end. What? Was there another way to do that? Uh, should I not pick up the... 
Should I not pick up the pouch? I'm very confused. Maybe I shouldn't look in the stall this time? Nana? <coughs> Eek! It's... Oh, it's you. Don't scare me like that. Sorry, you've just been in here for a while, so I was getting a little worried. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Thanks, though. Wait, I'll stay with Chihaya then. You finish what you're doing, but please hurry it up. Hello? Is it a uh, ghost? Most impressive. You found what you were looking for without searching my stall. People have been barging in on me a lot lately, you see. I've been gathering, getting rather uppity with the living for always shamelessly opening the door with reckless abandon, as your comrade did a moment ago. See, I'm quite easily frightened as it happens. The only place where I feel truly safe and at home is this restroom stall. It's strange. I can't explain why, but I don't find this person scary at all, even though he's clearly a ghost. Hmm. <coughs> As the spirit sways from side to side, the faint blue light radiating from his body twinkles through the room. Okay. Have a good day. I uh, found it here. Turn it over the pouch. Don't cry, Chihara. There's nothing scary in there. In fact, quite the opposite. There is actually a ghost, but he's friendly. He didn't even talk to me. You serious? Isn't that, like, dangerous? No, it's totally fine. He seemed like a really nice person. I don't suppose you'd want to meet him yourselves, would you? What? I think I would. After all, we've been in here for several hours now, and there is, hasn't been anyone else to talk to this whole time. It's really true. He's not scary at all. If I may, I have a favor to ask of you three. Some rogue friend fiend has absconded with my prized gentleman set. By which I mean my hat and glasses. You should happen upon them in your wanderings. Would you be so kind as to return them to me? Hmm. Uh, sure thing. So, your possessions have been stolen then? That's terrible. Wait here. We'll find them. You are too kind. Hey, I can do things. Looks like our noble party of adventurers has accepted the quest. Let's give it everything we've got. Righto. This is so ridiculous. Find the gentleman's glasses. Okay. Keep our restrooms clean. Start with this. There's a message scribbled on the wall. Try the stall to the right. One more over. One more over. Too far, go back one. There's a pair of sunglasses in the stall with the star shaped lenses. Uh take them. Acquired superstar sunglasses. I think it would be really hard to look good in these. Are these your glasses? <sighs> Spirit stuck out his lower lip and shook his head quite fervently. Seems like he doesn't care much for them. Guess they're not his after all, unsurprisingly. I think I'm gonna die now that I took these random ass glasses. Hey, hello. Looking for something? I'm sure you won't find it downstairs anywhere. Well, that's a lot of blood.
Hello. The guy to the west is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. Well, that's not helpful at all. I don't want to go talk to the guy to the west now. Just to see what he says. <laughs> guy to the south is a liar. He doesn't believe a word he says. So who's the liar here? Science lab. Throw some civics to the wall. Hey, there's no cuts here. Oh. All right. The two guys to the north of me are both telling the truth. You should believe everything they say. And you should also return to the third floor right away without exploring anywhere else beforehand. I don't believe you for a second. I need to find the glasses. Well, hello. There's a pair of distinguished looking glasses sitting on the banister. Take them. Yeah. Why are the distinguished glasses? Should I keep looking or do I just go? Spirit's not here anymore. My leg really hurts, Nana. <clears throat> My Chia Chihaya, I think I need to rest for a bit. This is too much for me. Hey. Cut down has begun, you better hurry. Hurry scurry. Yep. What's even happening? And what you're looking for? I mean, I guess. Oh, you have my eternal gratitude. I've always felt that these glasses existed in the world solely to be worn by me. Oh, how I miss them. Look really good on you. And I assume they do anyway. It's hard to tell. He's basically just a blue crow. I guess that's left out is to find your hat, right? You are too kind. Find a gentleman's hat. Okay. Hey! Hello. Whoa. Spirits that started on the bottom right does not have an item you want. No, touch the pretty key, it's my precious. Spirit is holding a key marked infirmary. Can you get away from him? No. Oh, ow. That's smarts. That's just rude. A okay, fine. Ow. Running your HP is getting low. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah. I guess I'm going to the infirmary now. Cut out has begun, you better hurry. Didn't you already say that though? Cut out has already begun. Yes. Why wouldn't I use the key that I literally just got? Oh, it's really dark in here. Hey, there's an extra thing. The journal seems almost decorative as if it were a part of the desk. Medicines and tonics. Alright, let's grab this then. It's a hat. There's a felt hat on the ground that seems to radiate air of luxury and refinement. Take it. Yes, please. Required felt hat. Do do do. Now what? Chihaya? I'm tired. I hate this. I want to go home. Chihaya, it's okay. We'll get out of here. I know we will. Hello? How can you even say that? What possible reason can you have for believing that we'll ever be able to leave this place? Chihaya. Are you saying I can hold you responsible if we never get home again? Chihaya, that's enough. I've had about all I could take of your whining. Holy hell. We're not in the safety of our own familiar little world anymore. People aren't going to bend over backwards to spare your feelings here. We're fighting for survival. It's every girl for herself. So don't have, think for even a minute that we're going to stop and console you every time you have a damsel of distress moment just because we're your friend. Hmm. Mm, ah. Go ahead and cry. See if I care. Nari, that was totally uncalled for. Not everybody's as strong-willed as you, you know. 
fine. Do whatever the hell you want then. Oh. Oh my. You have my thanks once again. I've always cherished this hat, you see. It was especially selected for me by Tanaka, one of my most beloved sword subordinates. I'm so glad we were able to find it. It seems like it means a lot to you, and it just feels really good to help someone in need. Doesn't it? Yeah. You are truly a benevolent souls. My eternal gratitude is yours. You possess such clear eyes and pure hearts. If I still lived, I would use the rest of my days to offer you protection and guidance. I shan't lose these items again, and I should hope that you do not lose the generosity you've shown for this place can quickly and easily crush the spirit. In times like this, especially, it is important that you do not succumb to despair nor forsake your true nature. Rather, you should scoff in despair's rotund face and embrace who you are. Love yourself. Okay. But now I must bid adieu. For my home is calling to me, I pray that you three, as well, will find your way back to your own homes in due time. <laughs> Farewell, the well. I love you. This strange little spirit man. He's a pretty fun person, huh? <coughs> All right then, was that it? Although so apprehensive about our surroundings, we felt slightly better having done a good deed and held our heads high as we exited the bathroom. From then on, we began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned building once again. Narus, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends, we called their names over and over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually the voices would give out altogether and our bodies would cease to function, but it was only a matter of time. But despite the inevitability, we decided then and there to keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long as we lived. Did I do it? Hey, I did it. Cool. Little bonus level. See you next semester. Hmm. We good? Hey. Awesome. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. And that's setting out. Bye!